Welcome to the Super Expander Podcast. My name is Corrine Phelps, your host. I'm a business and growth coach, money mindset expert, and a multi-passionate entrepreneur. My journey has taken me all over from working in finance to owning a boutique fitness studio. I found myself burnt out, miserable and questioning everything, saying things to myself like, there's got to be more to life than this. Refusing to settle for a mediocre existence, I went all in, learning how to harness untapped potential and rewire the subconscious mind to create an extraordinary life. The last 10 years have been a crash course in self-love, building a business, creating community, building wealth, and doing what it takes to just freaking go for it. My mission is to help you align to your purpose, Rewire your subconscious to support your big dreams and vision and create a life that you're absolutely obsessed with. So sit back, tune in, and prepare to expand. Hello, hello, Super Expanders. How are you? And welcome back. How are you feeling today? So today, we are, we're just going to dive straight in. I have been kind of going through some some tough stuff over here in my house. My dog is very, very ill. And if you know me, my dog, Lila is truly, she's like my soul pet, my soul dog. And she became very, very sick recently. And it's, you know, not really looking good. She's 13 years old, but she's been with me, my, she's, she's been with me, with me through so, so much. And I, you know, I pretty much uncontrollably cried for, I think, about a week straight. Like, I didn't even know that I had that many tears left in me. But there's been a lot of lessons along the way. One is, well, a lot of them. And I'm, we're going to kind of just go right through all of them one by one today. And so the one of the first lessons was, I think this is maybe the first time in my entire time running my own business that I have actually ever shared with my clients, my audience, what was going on with me. It has been both liberating to do so. And uh, the outpouring of just support and love has also been, I think, transformational in me being able to handle what's going on. So I have no idea why I waited so long to, to actually just fully be vulnerable and be myself you know, before I had this perception of having to always show up and be strong for my clients, for my audience. And I think that that really, it sort of it breeds a disservice for, for everyone, right? It sends a message that that's how everyone else needs to behave. And when you don't, then somehow you're weak and that you're not allowed to feel. And I, this one, this one broke me and that's the lesson that it has taken me 44 years to to learn. And I'm glad that I finally have learned it because it has definitely opened me up to a new way of being. And it's also opened me up to an expansion of being able to hold a, a an array of emotion, emotions, right? So being devastated and sad, but then trying to find ways to also find joy. And that has truly been, it's been the hardest thing, but also I think it has expanded me because I do think that we can only experience the highest of highs when we have allowed ourselves to experience the lowest of lows. So that spectrum really is based on how deep we can go, how how much we can feel on both ends of that like polarizing spectrum. I have a question for you. Have you joined the super expander free mentorship community? If not, what are you waiting for? Stop what you're doing right now and text the word mentor to 202-918-3235. Text the word mentor to 202-918-3235. I send out weekly tips and inspiration to help you grow your business, to step into your wealthiest, most highest self, to harness your full potential and live an exceptional and extraordinary life. And the best part is it's really me sending those messages. So text me, say hello, and send me your questions. 
And then kind of playing right off of that is really prioritizing finding micro moments of joy in life and in the day. So how I've been doing that recently with, with Lila is one of the things that makes her so happy is to be in the car. And while her energy is low and she's really, you know, she's fighting a good fight right now, it shifts her when I take her in the car. So I make sure that every single day that I take her usually twice in the car and she finds a way to experience micro moments of joy, which I think is really the thing that is helping her stay strong right now. She sticks her head out the window and my, the entire time, you know, having her, it's been one of my most favorite things to do is to watch her stick her head out the window and, um, tearing up as I'm talking about this with you right now. Um, just watching that pure joy. It's always been a teacher for me to like watch her. And so it's been like bittersweet during these times, just like I'm trying to harness every moment and, and like experience it, cherish it and just be like, so, so grateful. And while it's sad and uncomfortable and all the things there have been some really powerful lessons for me for my family and I wanted to share them with you because I think that that there's lessons that can expand you here in your world in your life in your business too and that it's truly okay to experience sadness it's okay to show up and share who you are fully and in your truth I think that like I'm so tired of this this idea, this thing that we've been sold, that we have to compartmentalize different areas of our life. And I think that one of the beauties of running your own business, of being an entrepreneur, is you get to remove that from your life. I think that that's the key to building a business that you are obsessed with showing up for because it fits in, you know, with your life. You build your business around your life. It becomes you know, they, they fit together so that you're not really trying to run away from your business and take a break from it. It, it gets to work together. And so that has been a big, beautiful lesson for me. And I wanted to, to share it with you. This one was just a, a quickie, but packed with a lot of heart and a lot of vulnerability. So I hope that it landed for you. And the biggest thing that I want you to really take away from this too, is asking yourself, How can you start prioritizing micro moments of joy in your life starting today? If you like what you heard, stop, drop, and leave a five-star review and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And as always, sharing is caring. So snap a pic and share this episode with another super expander.